and welcome back to my channel. Um, Sydney and I are uh, out and about. We are gonna go grab some preschool supplies and go do like a shop with me for preschool supplies. Um, keeping it very basic and we're just, I'm not doing like an extreme homeschooling preschool thing, but I wanted to add, you know, some like directional learning activities and arts and crafts and things to our days. So I will probably do like a three day week um, maybe like Monday, Wednesday, Friday type of a preschool schedule and schedule, um, you know, just doing loose things, nothing crazy strict. Um, but anyway, I wanted to pop over to Dollar Tree and Michael's. I already have some supplies at home. Um, at the end of the video, I will be doing a preschool supplies haul, but I also wanted to do like an in-store kind of shop with me. Um, fashion and kind of walk you through i don't know maybe like things that are in the stores so you guys can get an idea um we just grabbed some starbucks so i'm having um, a mango dragon fruit refresher lemonade sydney's having some egg bites before we um go explore because it is a hot day i just wanted to do something a little bit different add some structure and learning activities to our days because as a single work from home mom life gets away from me and i feel like i just don't spend enough one-on-one -on -one time with her and so this will you know, putting it into our schedules and routines is really gonna, um, I think, benefit both of us. Our first stop was Dollar Tree, and I highly recommend you guys check out Dollar Tree if you have one around you. Um, I do know that you can buy things from Dollar Tree online, but it tends to be in bulk, so it's obviously way more expensive and more for like classrooms. But either way, Dollar Tree has a bunch of good back to school things. They have tons of notebooks. They actually had workbooks, um, glue. The one thing I would say, obviously Dollar Tree has to make their money. Um, glue is a dollar there for a glue, but then you can get it at Target and Walmart for like 50 cents. So just be mindful of things like that if you, you know, care to save your money and spend your pennies wherever you can. But I found so many good things at Dollar Tree. Post-it notes had rainbow popsicle sticks and googly eyes and things like that that were clearly much more expensive elsewhere. So... Our next stop was Michael's and I went there for a couple of specific items. I went there for just craft items in general, but I also wanted to see what they had for crafts and back to school supplies. I actually was not as impressed with Michael's as I thought I was going to be. Things were a little bit more expensive. Um, and then depending on, you know, where you go, they might not have as much in stock as you see here, but there were a couple of things that I ended up getting, which I will share in my haul, like this placemat. I would say just make sure you use a coupon. If you go to Michael's, you know how it goes. And then we popped over very quickly to see what Walmart has in store. And of course, you know, Walmart probably has everything in store and they are most of the time the least expensive. They had glue for only 25 cents, which was the cheapest I had seen it. Um, and then all kinds of workbooks and whatnot, all kinds to choose from. As far as books go, I will be either renting, not renting them, but like checking them out at the library or buying maybe specific ones for Sydney in the future. Okay, 
Okay, you guys, so now I am going to share with you everything that I was able to snag. All of these, in my opinion, are basic um, preschool supplies. There's like maybe a couple of random things that, um, you know, Sydney wanted and I was like, okay, we can, we can have that. Um, but yeah, I think we did really well. A lot of the things were on budget too. And if even if you're not like homeschooling preschool, all of these items, in my opinion, are just like toddler activity must-haves or anything to do with toddlers or arts and crafts or daycares or anything to do with things like that. So I wanted to show you everything that I picked up here. Um, and there are a couple of things that I wasn't able to find that I am just gonna order on Amazon. Um, but for the most part, this is a thorough haul. So the first thing was this little bin. I got this from Target. Um, a little while ago it's in the dollar spot these are five dollars actually and this is just a really cute like light pink storage bin i mean you can't have enough storage bins this was the only one in stock when i went that day you comfortable oh my buddy my buddy i love you anyway so this is the only one in stock when i went so otherwise i would have grabbed more but these are five dollars like i said um and i'm just gonna dive in I don't remember where I got specific things um, besides like the Dollar Tree. I do remember that. Um, Dollar Tree had so many good items, you guys. Um, and I went there first, so I didn't really know what to compare pricing wise. Well, I had gone to Target a couple of days ago. Um, so yes, there are some things at Dollar Tree that are more expensive there than they are elsewhere, like glue. Um, I picked up a thing of glue um, at Target. Actually, I think this was like 50 cents or 60 cents. Uh -huh. Something like that. Um, they have them uh, at Walmart and Target for like 50 cents, but at the Dollar Tree, these were a dollar. So just be mindful if you, you know, care to save, um, you know, every penny counts um, when you're, if you're buying in bulk or for several kids or just budget in general, every penny counts. So I got Sydney some um, washable glue. Fun fact, we don't have any glue in this house at all. I don't know. We've just... I don't know, we've just never had glue, kind of random. But we are gonna be doing all kinds of art um, projects and things like that, so obviously we'll need some glue. I picked up some glue sticks um, from Target. Two pack was like 60 cents or 40 cents. Something super, super inexpensive. So I just grabbed a pack of two. At the Dollar Tree, they had these really cool rainbow colored popsicle sticks. I thought these would be really neat um, to make like little puzzles with. You can draw like the letters and do like letter matchings or like write her name individually on each piece and then have her kind of create the puzzle with it. There's so many different activities and I've pinned so many on it, Pinterest as well. So make sure you're following me there. I think Haley Spear is just who I am on Pinterest um, at Haley Spear. Um, but I just thought the rainbow colored ones was really um, pretty. They had all kinds of different, they also had regular ones too. So who knows, I might grab regular popsicle sticks at some point as well. And then I got some dot stickers. Sydney and I, I have several different toddler activity videos on my channel and she loves these dot stickers as simple as it is. She likes to um, play with these. So what I do is I'll write either a word or a picture or something, I'll like write it in um, marker and then she places the dot stickers all around and covers up the um, lines and it's very good for um, fine motor skill development. So that's what we use these for. Um, but they had dot stickers, these are 315 for a dollar. Also googly eyes, like I said, we are gonna be doing all kinds of Sydney's obsessed with googly eyes. We're gonna be doing all kinds of arts and crafts. So we will need all kinds of googly eyes. And this one comes in a variety pack of different sizes as well. So, and then some sponge paint brushes. We go through them often and then for some reason I lose them or I accidentally let them, you know, get crusty. <laughs> so um, just a big thing. And these are also from the Dollar Tree, five piece for a dollar. Um, very inexpensive compared to like when we went to Michael's they were much more expensive. They were like 79 cents each or something like that. I mean, I could be totally wrong, but I, I do think that they were much more expensive there. So snag them at the Dollar Tree if you find them. Also at the Dollar Tree, I ended up getting this pack of mini stick it notes, stick it notes, put like post-it notes, yeah. sticky notes. Um, and Sydney and I, we play with these a lot. Again, in our toddler activity videos, um, you will see what we do. You can do like matching, memory, you can cover up something. You can, well, I like usually write numbers and letters on them and 
hide them in her playroom and she goes and finds them and then matches them to like a picture or a number and counting. You can do so many different things with sticky notes. I mean, it's a very simple thing, but you can do so many different things. And that's, I don't know, Sydney loves them. Also, I can't really remember, like I said, I don't remember where half this stuff came from or which exact store. This is an item that Sydney really, really, really wanted. So I ended up getting Simba. it for her. Don't necessarily think you need it, need it, but yeah, she was she's obsessed with Simba. She's actually currently got the Lion King on in the background. And this is um, just a numbers and counting activity book. There's all kinds of different things in here. Yeah numbers and counting and learning how to write them. And then what I do like about things like this is um, the pages. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Yeah. bam, bam. Aladdin. Aladdin. Um, what I do like about this is that the pages come right off and are detachable um, so that you can, you know, just do an individual like thing at a time. But yeah, I don't know. This is something that Sydney wanted and I think it was only a dollar. I actually went specifically with this in mind. Um, a dry erase pocket, you can stuff a sheet in here and have it be reusable and um, the kids can you know, write all over it if you're tracing letters or doing matching or things like that and then just erase it and wipe it clean so that it makes pages really reusable versus you know, you print off a page and then have them do their activity and then that's it, you can't reuse it again. Um, so I really like that and I'm going to be using that for her with especially with like helping her write her own name and, and tracing and things like that. <sighs> My kid's eating again. She just had two bowls of dried Cheerios. Now she's having a protein bar. <laughs> Speaking of writing, I found this I believe at the Dollar Tree as well. It's basically, it's just that paper that has the lines on it so it teaches them how to draw the letters kind of according to, what is it, like proper letters and like, you know, with the ruled paper, the dotted lines, you know what I mean. It's called Manuscript Tablet Writing Guide. I mean, I don't know if that's a little bit advanced for her or not. I don't, I don't know. Maybe by the end of the year when she's beyond four, closer to five, she will like get that a little bit more. But I just figured that was nice to have um, ruled, ruled paper to have her learn to write. And then this is also another one that I ended up picking up. This one is um, a numbers. Numbers, Sesame Street, count with me. Yeah, so they have different pages where you can count the item, draw the number, and do like, I don't know, I don't know, you know. I just randomly picked these up. I don't think you need things like this, but it's nice to have. If I am feeling like I don't really, you know, want to put too much effort into things, I can let her work out of this book. <laughs> and plus it's fun, it's fun to change it up too for them um, and to have the characters that she recognizes, like, I don't know. I think that was a dollar, like I said. And then I also picked up a large thing of construction paper. We are actually completely out um, of construction paper right now just because we use it so much. Can't ever have enough construction paper with arts and crafts. Um, we will be doing lots of arts and crafts, so had to pick that up too. And then I also picked up a multi-pack of felt and I ended up getting this at Walmart because um, like Michael's, they didn't have a pack of it. You had to buy each individual individual sheet for like 40 cents each. I mean, I, this is my plan um, on making a bulletin board and these, you can do all kinds of things with this and they kind of like stick to each other. Um, we've done crafts with them in the past and Sydney loves doing that. And I love that they're reusable because we've had an apple tree, like a counting matching apple tree for a year at this point and it's still going strong. She still loves it. So you can do anything with felt. Um, and then I also ended up getting a binder. Sydney picked this color out. They have so many different binders at the Dollar Tree and Sydney wanted a pink one. So I'm going to be, um, I printed off some of some things for Sydney, like some activities. I'm just getting going. Okay, so I need to print off more, but I am gonna be printing off some activities for her to do. And I already have plastic um, like pockets to put in here. So, but I didn't have a binder. So, um, that way I can just have a binder full of different activities that we will be doing and kind of have it a little bit more organized and in one central location versus loose papers that are going everywhere right now. Um, 
So just picked up a three ring binder. And then actually I will show you these. So I'm planning on doing um, some scissor, scissor work, scissor, whatever you call it, working on her scissor grip and using scissors. So I printed these out from um, totschooling.net and they have a bunch of different ones. They have like squiggly ones too, but we're gonna start out small with a straight line. Um, but that is one thing that I did not pick up and I will be buying on Amazon um, because they didn't have any like toddler scissors local to me. The only ones they did have were regular metal blunt tip ones and I might end up getting those. I don't think I'll get the plastic. But I think that I, I just, I don't know. Either way, um, I do need to pick up scissors for her off of Amazon. So if you guys have recommendations on like the best toddler scissors that are safe but still work at the same time, um, leave me a suggestion down below because there's so many different ones. And then I got her a thing of watercolor paints. We have never had water, watercolor paints in our house and I don't know why. It's just something that I guess has gone underneath the radar and just never had them. So I grabbed her um, just a basic set of watercolors so we can paint and do all those arts and crafts with. Um, this is random, not necessarily a preschool supply thing, but I needed those like push pins. Um, they're called Brad's, Brad's attachment things um, because I printed off, I actually made this myself. You can find pre-done ones online, but I made this one myself, um, a weather wheel. And I just need to put the arrow on with that little embellishment so that she can spin the arrow to whatever the weather is that day. And I also ended up getting a laminator um, because I did laminate uh, her weather wheel and then I've laminated a couple of other things um, I will show you, but I got this one off Amazon and you guys, it was one of the least expensive. I think it was like $21 or something <laughs> like that. Um, Highly suggest getting a laminator if you are planning on doing any sorts of activities that you want to be able to reuse. This is amazing. And I mean, it's just a basic one. It's not anything crazy, but it works really well so far. Um, so I got that off Amazon. I'll have that link down below, of course. And then of course I had to snag um, some laminator, laminating pouches. And I just got the Amazon basic one. Um, so I got a pack of the laminator pouches and really easy to use, foolproof. I've never used a laminator, but now I'm really excited because now Sydney's activities, like all of the tracing ones and the matching and the puzzles and things like that can be laminated and reused for a long time. So you're getting a lot more use out of your papers and your printer ink and all things like that when you do laminate them. So that is something that I definitely wanted to invest in anyway. Um, at least for the toddler years. I wish I had had that sooner. And you can laminate, you know, there are and there are things that you wanna keep and there's scrap ups forever. So that is um, definitely a purchase that I'm really excited about. Uh, let's see. So I found this, this is kind of random, but I found this at Michael's. They had a bunch of placemats. They had like solar system ones, um, a map of the United States, the presidents, things like that. Um, but this one is an ABC one. And then on the back, it has, you can trace and um, draw letters right here in practice, drawing letters. And this is all like done pre-laminated, kind of a placemat thing. I mean, this is, it was kind of, it was like $4. So it's definitely a little bit more expensive, but I thought this was cool because it's something that is completely reusable. Um, and if anything, it can be used as a placemat for her to practice her letters and um, letter sounds. So, I don't know, that was kind of a, a random, random purchase. And then the last thing that I picked up is this workbook. This is something that I picked out myself and I definitely love this. I got this at Walmart. We have, we have a couple actually. I have a dry erase one that is mostly letters and numbers. And then I do have another workbook that a friend gave to us a while back. But I got this one. I've looked, they had a bunch of really good ones um, at Walmart. This is the one that I decided to pick up. It is the big preschool book and I picked, this one was $9.97, so $10. Mm -hmm. I picked this one because it has so many different activities in here, like pick the differences and then there's ones where you can, there's like maze ones and there's just so many good activities and not just 
counting and tracing. This one has just so many different things like follow the line to see what item um, you get to. And what is this? Find and circle the five hidden X's. I just loved this book. I think this will be so wonderful for Sydney. Um, yeah, and then actually connect the dots. She's never done connect the dots or anything like that. Um, and then what is this? Color the eggs that have the letter E on them. I, yeah, I just loved this book. So highly recommend something like this as well if you um, want to swing it. Another thing I will just mention, um, I am planning on getting her some tissue paper as well. Tissue paper can be wonderful art things and then you can use it to dye water colors and just do all kinds of things like that. So yeah, I'm planning on picking up some scissors and some tissue paper, possibly other things, but really we just needed basic supplies, basic art supplies. We already have, you know, crayons and markers and, and things like that. I didn't want to go too crazy. Um, I wanted to keep it sort of basic um, and just all of these things we should have already on hand anyway to do arts and crafts around the house. So I hope you guys got some ideas, maybe some inspiration. What are things that you think that maybe I don't have? Um, I don't know. I mean, I do have quite a few, <laughs> quite a few things already. But if you guys have any ideas or recommendations on what you think that I may need, definitely leave me a comment down below. Are you guys homeschooling this year? So I have decided that I'm not going to be following a specific curriculum. I think that's just putting a little bit too much pressure on myself. I am a work from home mom and I have a very full busy plate as it is. So, and I know like preschool curriculums, there's one from the busy toddler toddler, and um, I know a lot of you have recommended that one. Um, and I think that only says like 45 minutes a day or so. And they're very simple, basic lessons like reading books. Good job. Like reading books and doing arts and crafts. So it's nothing crazy, but I just think that I'm just gonna like get activities online and do them myself for the most part. Um, I mean, I guess, I don't know, maybe if I change my mind, I change my mind, but yeah. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. We're just, we're just kind of going with what we're thinking of the day, but I do have some fun plans and I will be sharing them in the future. Like I said, I am gonna be probably creating a bulletin board, like a little section in her playroom and just do specific activities like the day of the week, the what month it is and what the weather is and things like that. Those are gonna be like daily activities that we can do. Um, but yeah, just specific things. I have found so many things on totschooling.net, like this little puzzle right here. We've already played with, even though it's a pumpkin like fall, themed puzzle um, and I just laminated it. It has the different shapes and I printed out different shapes um, and she's been matching them. But that's a fun activity, just printing out so many different things and we're gonna be doing themes. Yeah, go ahead, honey. And we're gonna be doing like theme weeks like Ocean Week or um, the solar system or weather, just random things like that or farming. Today is sunny, you are right. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I'm gonna be sharing what we are doing for you know different toddler activities, preschool at home, um, and ideas to set up. We're not doing an extreme like classroom or anything like that, but I do wanna have a little corner dedica dedicated to our daily things. And I don't know, I have so many different ideas. So I hope you guys enjoy it and we will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. To grow up, cause nothing makes sense. No, no.